What's up? It's Savannah from Generation Exploration. Uh, I just wanted to talk about Voyagers National Park because that's where we just went. And it was super awesome. On the first day, the first thing we wanted to do was go out to sea and see the water. So we went and rented a canoe. We're in the canoe. First task, getting under that bridge and then we're out to sea. I thought it would be easy peasy that we'd be going to the islands all the way across. No, 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 that did not happen. The canoeing was intense. The waves, like they weren't that big. They were big for a canoe. And like if we took too many on the side, it would They were big us. Yeah. for a lake. I've never seen a lake with the giant waves we like that. We were having probably like 20 knot gust, probably 15 sustained. We at one point were paddling as hard as we could and did not go forward at all. We were just in the same spot. Just getting missed over the bow as the <laughs> waves hit and we're just holding one spot. The pelicans are looking at us funny as they float around. Uh, a second ago, we got to like turn around so the waves were behind us and use them like us, like we were surfing, like shh. It was really cool. So today, I've arranged for someone to take us out on a boat. His name, I don't remember his name, but he had a thing, a little sign, a flyer, in a gas station that we stopped at. So, I've never felt more safe. Um, <laughs> I've arranged for us to go out on a pontoon boat. Delilah gets to come, and we're going to go check out the National Park this way. I'm very excited. I was worried we would get rained out. But he says that we're still on, so here we go! I'm excited. to the rock gardens, the Ellsworth rock gardens, which were built by a guy named Jack Ellsworth. He spent 20 years building the rock gardens, 20, 20 years with no power. All he had was like a hammer and a wheelbarrow and basic tools like that. So that was pretty crazy. He spent from 1944 to 1966 working on his rock garden and that was really awesome to check out. You guys, that was so cool and so much better than canoeing. It's actually like exactly how I imagined it. It was awesome. We got to see a bald eagle's nest. We got to see the rock garden. We got to see a bunch of the national park, which is technically just where the water starts. Um, yeah, it was really cool. For those of you from Tennessee, it's a lot like Dale Hollow Lake, but a lot bigger and a much a different history. I'm gonna show you the lake one last time. Goodbye, lake. Let's go way back to some history of Voyagers National Park and how it was formed. Uh, 
pamphlet facts here. And some facts from our boat tour guide. Facts with Savannah. All right. I feel like there was kind of four major things in Voyager's National Park history that I learned about. One being that giant glaciers came through and smoothed out all the rock, making the lakes and the rivers and the ponds the way they are. Two, that French Canadian canoemen and fur traders would use those waterways created by the glaciers to paddle all the way from Montreal to Midwest Canada. Three, as America progressed, people started buying the islands, putting cabins on the islands, houses, mansions, and kind of destroying everything that was natural and beautiful there. Four, Voyager's National Park became a national park. They bought back all the land from private owners and they've restored the park. And it is a thriving ecosystem that people get to enjoy, get to experience, get to camp and see how nature really is. So that's super cool. In the past million years, ice sheets called gl continental glaciers have slid across Voyagers National Park area. And you're probably thinking continental glaciers, not too big, right? Or at least that was what I was thinking. No, they were two miles thick glaciers. And that's what like scraped across and made all these ponds and rivers and made everything kind of how it is. You can find rock that is 2.3 billion years old. It's 2.3 billion year old greenstone and that's just there at Voyagers. And it's that's like a million years older than the rock at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. The glaciers came in and smoothed everything out, but it also took all the topsoil with it. Bye-bye. So everything you see growing on the island is growing on six inches of pine needles. That's literally it. We saw a tree that had like fallen over and the roots were just spread way out because they can't go down because it's rock. It's crazy. <laughs> French Canadian canoe slash fur trade men canoed all the way from Montreal to where we were in like Midwest, the Canada American line. What are you? That's crazy to me. That's just insane. But basically, water made the highway, that's what they call it, Voyager Highway. Water made the highway, animals provided the fur, forests provided the material for the canoes, and boom, there you go. You got a whole setup. Hundreds of years after the canoemen and the whole United States progressed, people bought the islands and started putting cabins up, putting houses on the islands. They were all privately owned. They're all like, oh yes, I'm fancy schmancy with my little cabin on an island. Lou, I'm trying to talk to the camera. <laughs> They're cutting down the trees that were native to that area and destroying the ecosystem. When Voyagers National Park became a national park, they bought back all of the land, removed all of the cabins, and allowed the park to regrow. They say 99% of the park has recovered and it is a healthy ecosystem. So they're like super, super proud of how they brought it all back. Most black bears usually have two cubs each year and usually one survives. But at Voyagers National Park, two families of black bears had quads four bears and both of the families had all four survived. So go Voyagers. Lou, do you have any facts? Did you read the brochure? Thank you for coming to Facts with Savannah. Good night. Voyagers, 10 out of 10. Campsites are there. Boat tour if you can. Canoeing was hard. Dog friendly, kid friendly, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe, share, bye.